Hey guys, welcome back to the shop and welcome back to the Foxhall Tool Review. Today we are going to review something that's a super hot product. We're going to review the Craig 720 Pro Pocket Hole Jig System. I'm a bit skeptical about this. I'm going to try to justify spending $150 on a new jig when I already have a K5, which has worked for me for years. But I will go in with an open mind because there are a lot of new woodworkers that will benefit from the new system. All right, so first you got your operating manual and you got some uh, some literature from Craig. Looks like you got a little, got a little uh, plan. All right, so here we go. Now on first look, this jig is gargantuan. It's huge. This thing is massive. Here it is compared to the K5 jig. Yeah, it's pretty significant. I mean, this thing kind of looks like a spaceship. It looks, like it looks like it's about to fly off, or maybe it's gonna be like attached to your face like in the movie Aliens, like H.R. Geiger. I love that guy. He's weird, but I love him. All right, so you're gonna have your dust port. You're gonna have a dust blade that connects to the actual jig itself. The dust port connects to it. You got some screws. And here are all your bits and whatnot. Here you have your drill bit. And the drill bit has little markings right here so you can set your depth collar. I don't know how well that's gonna work. It seems like it's gonna leave a lot of room for error, but I'm gonna hold my judgment until I actually try it. So we'll see. And it comes with a new Allen wrench, which has a little plastic covering around it, which gives you a little bit more leverage and it might be a little bit easier to use. So that's, that's pretty cool. And then you got your storage ramps. And then one of the sides is the rest of them. You have a clamp for the jig itself. And then you have some of the connections. And there is some other things that I don't know what to do, so we'll, we'll figure that out later. All right, let me show you how to connect the wings. All right, so you got these little guys right here and they just mount up under the bottom. and then they just slide into place. These things are hard to slide to. Just like that. Just like that. All right, now the wings have little connectors here that go on the side of this guy right here. And all you do is just snap them into place. Just like that. Do the other side. All right, so make sure that the uh, clasp right here is on the outside so it's facing away from you. snaps right into place and they go right up okay so this thing also has a stop block and it just slides on these little grooves and you put them on each side there's only it only comes with one though which i was kind of weird it, it, would, it would be nice if it came with two but you know i digress and then you just lock it into place and it stays where you want it. And there's a little scale right here. Looks like it is a 16th scale. So you can move your stop block over so you can have some positive stops for your piece of wood where you want the pocket holes to be. All right, so here's one of the biggest things I do not like about this. You know, be, me being a creator, I wanna you know build stuff for it. This guy only has two mounting screws. Now, if you have the wings on it, you do have 
mounting these holes right here so you can mount it to a work surface and include the wings. But if you want to build a cabinet for it like I did for my K5, there's only two mounting holes on the unit, which is kind of a bummer. So if you open up these wings right here, there's a mounting hole right there and you also have another one on the other side and it's only two mounting holes. I don't think that's gonna be enough. It needs two on the back too, that'd be great, but they're not. All right, so let me show you how to fold up the wings. It's very simple. You have a, you have a little clasp right here on the edges. So what you do is you fold them up and then just turn the things and they clip right in. Well, kinda, <laughs> let's try that again. Push that up. Make sure it all the, goes all the way down. And it folds up in a little compact thing and you can store it somewhere. Not bad. All right, let's look at the onboard storage. Just like that. Not bad. Just like that. They all just clip right into place. And also if you want to adjust the collar for some non-standard sizes, you can do it as well with the scale on the back. And then adjust the stop, top of the stop to each one of these lines. It's one and three eighths, one and one eighth, one inch and five eighths. Okay, so the clamping mechanism on this thing is not super great, but I think it's because the, the thickness of my top, I have a torsion box top on my um, work bench. It's a good, I think two and a half, three inches in width. So, I mean, it's, it's on there, but it still moves back and forth, even though you tighten it. I'm not a big fan of that. That doesn't work very well because it still it still moves. See, I mean, it's tightened pretty good, but it it still moves. I mean, it, it only clamps the back side of the thing, so it's not very good. That's a negative. It's super, super clean. All right, now for a three quarter piece. Okay, so a couple of observations. This clamping mechanism is outstanding. It works incredibly well. The dust collection is very good. Um, I, I thought that this little blade thing might just come out of socket or not, but it, it, it attaches very well and it stays in place. The drill bit. This drill bit, that thing right there is cool. I adjusted the half inch to three quarter inch on the fly so I didn't have to take the bit out or I didn't have to you know, take the bit out and move it again. I actually just did it while it's still on the drill. Take your battery out of the drill first. Don't be stupid. All right, so dust collection. The dust blade right here, this thing's awesome. One of the cool things I like about it is the same size as the, the small Rockler connector that I use for my sander. So I don't have to switch it out. That's great. I like that. That's awesome.
All right, so the first pro is going to be the AutoMax self-adjusting clamp on this thing is incredible. The onboard dust collection is far superior to the K5. The cool thing about the dust collection port is that my Rockler hose will fit into it and I don't have to change out the coupling on it to go over to my sander, which that's a huge plus for me. The onboard storage is really neat. Uh, it has a adjustment on it for the stop collar. The jig itself is actually very well built. There's a metal spline that goes all the way through the middle of it and it's very, very, very sturdy. And my favorite feature of all is the on the fly stop collar adjustment on the drill bit itself. It works very well. And if you saw in the last scene, I moved from half inch to three quarter of inch without even having to take my drill bit out of the drill. All right, so let's go over some cons. There's also a couple of cons too. The wings are very flimsy and just like the K5, I'm probably gonna throw them out. I probably won't even use them, but uh, they do, I mean, they do fold up and clasp together, but it just seems like it's really cheap. One of the biggest cons for me is that it doesn't have enough mounting holes. It only has two in the middle of the jig and you can actually add four if you had the wings on there. But, you know, it's, it's not enough to build a cabinet like I did for my K5. The clamp that you use to clamp the jig to a work surface does not work well at all. I think it's just the way that the jig is designed. The clamp slides into the back and you clamp it down to your work surface, but the front of the jig still moves around. And also it is not compatible with the HD and micro jig insert blocks. You have to buy a new micro jig and they don't even have the HD jig available yet. I don't even know they're going to have it available anyway, but it's, it's kind of a bummer that you have to go out and buy more accessories for it for, that you already had for your K5. I'm going to give this jig a 7 out of 10. There's a couple things on here I don't like per se. I don't like the, the work surface clamp. I don't like the wings. They're flimsy. And there's only two mounting holes, which that's a big bummer for me. Okay. Is this worth upgrading from the K5? For me personally, no. I'm gonna keep my K5 because it's been working for me for years. Now, is it gonna work for you and do you wanna upgrade it? That's up to you. You can take this review for face value and make your own decision. But for a new word worker trying to get into doing pocket hole joinery, this system is great. They also have another system that is a little bit cheaper, but it doesn't have the auto max clamping feature like this one does. It's, it's a little bit different. With that being said, for a new word worker, this thing would be awesome. I'm actually going to give this jig away in our 2K giveaway. We have some prizes from Bora and Klingspore. I'm providing the jig, and we also have our King's Fine Woodworker creators are gonna throw in some prizes as well. If you like this video, go ahead and pound that like button and hit that sub button in the notification bell, and you'll get updates for that new giveaway coming up shortly. Thank you guys for hanging out today, and cheers.